Welcome to Engineering Simple. In this video, I'll show how to calculate three-phase fault current. You know, this would be really useful for those who are preparing for the PE or FE exam. So let's assume we have we have a system. So let's equ equivalent system here. Just for simplicity, I'm going to just, I'm going to ignore resistances. So the re reactance is J0.2, and all these values are in per unit. So you have, this is the 20 kV bus. So you have a transformer here, so like T1. And this is, say, 345 kV. And you have a line with impedance or reactance J015 per unit. And the transformer is J0.02 per unit. Then you have another transformer, T2. So this is a GSU, for instance, generator step-up transformer. And T2 is impedance is J0.02 per unit. Then you have a, a 138 kV bus. So this is 345. So let's assume the three phase fault occurs here. All these uh, impedances are per unit on a 100 MVA base. Like I said, this would be a good uh, exercise to now for preparing for the PE or FE exam. So the question is calculate the three phase fault current. And in the exam you might be given four choices. But for me I'm just gonna go through the calculation that way you know how to approach this this type of uh, questions <clears throat> so one thing to to know is when you are dealing with three phase faults you are only de dealing with positive sequence impedance the zero sequence or negative sequence impedances do not apply when it comes to three phase fault so let's assume the pre fault voltage one was 1.05 per unit basically so then divided by the the sequence the positive sequence let's call this system impedance plus z of t1 plus z of the line so this is a line plus Z T two so one point zero five per unit divided by Z Z system is J zero point zero two plus J zero point zero two plus J zero point zero one five I run out of space, so I'm just going to come back here and do plus. Z line is zero. Okay, so I already I already wrote the impedance of the line, so just T two, which is J zero point zero two per unit. 
So if you carry out the calculation, you get 14 per unit. So that's the three phase fault. Now, let's assume the choices you are given during the exam are in amps. So you need the current or the base current. So I base is equal to MVA. So in this case, 100 MVA divided by square root of three times the the voltage, the fault, the three phase fault happened at 138 kV. So that's, remember, don't be confused. So the exam, you will have some distractions. You have 20 kV, you have 345 kV, you have 130 kV. Which one to use? Obviously, you want to look at where the fault happened. It's 130 kV, so that's what you want to use as your base voltage. So if you carry out the calculation, you get 418.38 amps. So you come back, so the current, the three phase fault current is equal to 14, which is a per unit times the base current, which is 400. 18.38 amps, which is 5,857.32 amps. If you want it in kilo amps, you can write 5.8 eight, I can round it up, six Ka or kiloamps. So that's basically how you calculate the three phase fault current if you, know, if, uh, you are given a question like this in the exam. Thank you and have a great day.